Well, it is hard to believe, but the school year is just a couple of weeks away. But some Treasure Valley students struggle to get the supplies they need even before the first day of school. If you haven't heard, we're holding a school supply drive to help. CBS 2's Lauren Clark is live at Fred Meyer to show how easy it is to donate and give to a student in need. Good morning, Brian. As you were mentioning, it can be so difficult for so many local families here back to school and how expensive some of this stuff can be. I'm here with my good friend, Major Bob, and we're going to be talking a little bit about one group of kids that we don't want you to overlook. So, Major Bob, what are some things that high school kids need this year before they go into the classroom in order so they can be prepared? Yeah, we want to make sure that high school kids are prepared as well, and they need things that uh, you and I probably didn't need, but they need things like uh, calculators, and they always need batteries to go with those. And interestingly enough, now there are, the schools are actually asking kids to bring in um, microphone earbuds so that they can get practice on their computers and their phones and research material. It's a different world now. Yeah, it is a different world, so they need different supplies than probably what we grew up with in the classroom. And while it's so easy to go for the cute backpacks and all the fun things for the little kids, uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're also picking up the more adult backpacks and making sure that our, these kids in this community also get everything they need to in order to be prepared. That's right. And you know, a lot of the parents really can't afford these kinds of items, and they consider them to be luxury items while the kids need them. So uh, we're just encouraging people to come out and, and help Idaho families and make a difference and help make sure that kids feel good on that first day of school. Absolutely. You know, one statistic that I remember uh, you guys bringing up was it could take up to $200, depending on what grade the child is going into, in order for them to go back into school. And as you were mentioning, these are necessities, not necessarily just luxury items. I mean, this is a list of things that they need for their first day. So why is it important that kids are just prepared and ready to go? Well, you know, first of all, the parents are really struggling a lot of times, too. We see a lot of folks that are working poor, and $200 could pay the rent or it might pay the utility bill. So a lot of parents really can't do that, and we want to make sure that no child feels left behind when they go back to school and that they're excited on, on that first day of, of school. Absolutely. 800 kids in our community that need our help. So we're asking you guys to make sure no kid here in the Treasure Valley uh, goes back to school without being prepared. So stay with us because in 30 minutes we're going to be showing you the bus and talking about other ways you can be involved. You're not going to want to miss that. Reporting live here from Garden City, Lauren Clark, CBS 2 News.